Hey guys, for my technique presentation, I'm gonna be working on emotion wheels in music therapy using the principles of gestalt art therapy, which is a practice founded by um, psychologist Janie Ryan. So just to give you a little bit of a background, I did kind of do a lot of research on this last semester. I'm super interested in the field. So um, this is kind of an adaptation of an artwork that I did last semester. But yeah, just to give you a refresher, the basic principles of gestalt art therapy is that perception is an active process. We create figures and backgrounds spontaneously and naturally. We show a natural tendency to complete holes and affect the closure of open or unfinished parts of holes. There's a tendency to be aware of certain patterns. There's a further tendency to reduce configurations to simple forms. Our perception is influenced by actual needs, experiences, and individual personalities and actively organizing forces are present in meaningful holes. So populations that I think that this um, technique would be great for are trauma survivors, mainly because a lot of trauma survivors are stuck in the past or stuck in their traumatic memories and it's really hard for them to stay present and focused. So this technique would allow them to be in the present moment, feel their emotions in the present and kind of put them on, you know, a stillborn plane to look at them for what they are. Same with people with personality disorders. A lot of times people with personality disorders get confused by their emotions and they can't really label them. So this is a good way to once again look at them for what they are and to kind of start to label and identify their feelings. Um, this is also great for people in addiction recovery because a lot of people become addicts to and they start using to escape their emotion so this is a way f to make their emotions less daunting and to make them more approachable and once again to see them for what they are um just really quick this exercise may not be suitable for elderly clients or those with sensory motor disabilities because the use of paint brushes might be a little bit hard to maneuver so this technique is called paint what you hear what you're going to need for this technique is um, just some paper. You're gonna have two pieces. One is gonna have a template already drawn out on it for everyone and it'll have six emotions labeled on the sides of the um, circle. So I have happy, sad, anger, fear, disgust, and surprise. See, the, these are the six basic emotions and I kind of filled out my chart already. So it would just be these six blank squares and I would give the client an opportunity to fill this out kind of as a warm up. Um, this is a technique that I borrowed from Deborah R. Corrington, who's a psychologist. Um, so, the second part of the exercise is going to be done on a blank piece of paper. Once again, we're going to have watercolor palettes, brushes, water, and paper towels to wash off the brushes. So, on the blank piece of paper, what's going to happen on there is I'm going to play four different types of music for about 30 to 45 seconds each. There's going to be one upbeat, one lower frequency, one calming, and one intense. So once again, we're going to play the music for about 30 to 45 seconds. And what I want the clients to do is as the music is playing, I want them to start painting what they hear, what the song makes them feel like, and just start to paint it all out. I was going to divide the paper into four different sections for each song, but in the gestalt practice, it, it really focuses on the present and just, you know, honoring the creative process. So I kind of just wanted to, you know, for the client to decide where they want each song to go and how it makes them feel. If it's an amalgamation of a bunch of different colors in, in one painting, that's fine too, because it's just all about the process. So I'll just give you guys a little sneak peek at what I would be doing. So here is the upbeat music that I will play. So as it's playing, I just want the client to start to paint it. What does it feel like? What does it look like? So 
that's just to give you a general idea of the upbeat music. Then I have a uh, low frequency music, which is Claire de Lune. I feel like everybody knows this, but. Then I would play a very calming song, something kind of like this. And then the last one would be an intense song. So I chose some like intense orchestral music so it kind of would sound something like this. It's a little scary, but it's intense. So the discussion and the goals of this technique would be to ask the clients about how each song made them feel. Did it surprise them? Did they hate the song? Did the music make them feel joyous and free? This technique is an attempt at allowing the client to see how their perceptions of stimuli can alter their emotions. Furthermore, by completing the emotional color wheel, clients can take this home so they have a guideline of what their emotions look like. I just think that this is a really important technique so that the client can understand what it's like to be present, especially painting as the music is being played. It really gives them an understanding of how their perception affects their art. So yeah, thank you guys for listening and watching and yeah, have a great day. <laughs>